breaking news we're getting from the PA Newswire that there's been uh, reports of an explosion outside uh, Liverpool Street the Station. The Metropolitan Police received reports that a white van had struck uh, pedestrians on London field. Bridge. At Aldgate East, where the injured were treated on the pavements outside the station. At King's Cross, where hundreds were... Marissa Ward safety, looks tonight at how Britain became a centre for down. terrorist recruitment. Preacher Abu Hamza has been found guilty of terrorism in a Manhattan court. Among his possible sentences includes life imprisonment. He was found guilty of hostage taking, including those of several foreign tourists, and setting up a military so training camp for would be jihadists. One, authorities say a terrorist mowed down pedestrians with his vehicle. Breaking news, police in the UK say they've arrested an 18-year-old man in connection with a London subway blast that injured more than a dozen people on it. A callous terrorist attack. I am welcome back to... <laughs> you're falling over already. <laughs> Went to a grass bird, <laughs> clip me foot. Welcome back to Finders Be Position Seekers. Anyway, we uh, we are about to get run over. So we are in. Is it Sussex <laughs> still this, or is it Kent? Well, is it Kent. I thought it said Kent, but we were in Sussex a minute ago, so I think we may have moved counties. Um, so we're just heading up to an explore where we are expecting to get caught. We've been told killed. There's potentially some people in here now but we don't know if they're homeless or what they are so we, we're a little bit on edge um but that's the theme for today i think after it early as explored yeah yep um so this place was a school um and it was used back in 2000s as an islamic state training camp we're now being followed by a car so they're going very slow to see what we're doing because we just parked on their road so they were just seeing what we're going on really but yeah um abu hamza was apparently here uh, doing some training with ak-47s so hopefully we're not going to get shot and or killed beheaded. or beheaded or anything like that so it's a bit of a dangerous day today altogether isn't it guns oh. and be all right guns. oh police dog training area trespassers will be prosecuted and there's what's in that field sheep oh is it they look the wrong color i'm not being racist towards sheep they just some of them are brown and some of them are brown and white so there is quite a lot of barbed wire quite a lot of warning signs i haven't seen any cctv yet but it's telling me there's quite a lot of it but we will see. Just in this field here, there's a couple of tents that have been erected. Ah, yes. Let's go and have a look in here first, shall we? Like I was saying, the police raided this place. Now there is holes in the floor up here, so be careful. Um, with multiple police vans, police cars, and pulled out a number of terrorists. We're gonna make his way maybe into the church and then we'll get across into the school. I think that may be our way in. I don't know how easy it's gonna be, but let's go and have a look. Do you want to stand on me? You're gonna get in. I'll find a way. Right, let's help Andy get in. Right, so I've just got Andy up through that window. I can't get through purely because he got on my shoulders. I can't get on his shoulders because he's already in. So I've now got to get round the front of here. God, this isn't easy either. I'm exhausted, I'm out of breath. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Even though it's empty, this place is pretty spectacular. Look at this windows up there. Wow. It's amazing. Look at this stage. You don't usually see a big stage in a church like that, do you? It's really unusual. But yeah, 
I don't think I've ever seen a church with a stage like that. Unless it's just an add-on afterwards. Maybe. Which it could be, because that was like breeze blocked on it underneath. Well, yeah, true. It's got big lights, look like it's been used as a theatre or something. Maybe for the school. Mm. After it's been used as a church bit, they've got thought, actually, we'll use this as the hall, assembly hall or something. Hall. Yeah. yeah. That would make sense. Right, so we're now back out of the church, which is a lovely little building. So, we have been round the back, round the side. Um, we have heard, just heard a car drive off. Um, there's no way that we can get through on that side. And, so, and the sheep have just moved as well. The sheep have just made quite a lot of noise. It sounded like the, a gate had been opened. So we're just now gonna head back round the front of the building. But you know what? I think, oh, I've got my foot stuck. Uh, you know, if we're gonna get caught anywhere, this will be where we get caught, which seems to be the theme for the day as well. But if we do, we do. And there's not much they can do. Right, here comes the risky bit. We are back at the front or side of the building. Still can't see anybody about. However, I can see windows that look open. But I don't know if there's something blocking them at the other side. They've been smashed, look. But something on the other side of them blocking entrance, which I'm gonna struggle. Yeah, there's been doors put onto it. So, keep making our way around. This building is absolutely beautiful though, look at it. On such a beautiful day as well. We have CCTV. What? We have CCTV. There is definitely CCTV. Yeah, there's one up there, just looks like like this. Oh yeah. There's one on the corner over here. This is new as well. Right. So I think we're probably going to get caught quite quickly now. Right. So if there is anybody monitoring the CCTV, we're pretty much on it. But I'm sure there's got to be a way we can get in. None of these rooms, none of this definitely is. It's currently used. There's bags and bags and bags of stuff and things knocking about. So I'm going to have to go around the side of the building we didn't want to go around. So let's head up this side. <coughs> that cough's getting worse. Don't help when we're trying to be quiet either. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. Try and hold it. I'm not being horrible to you. Right. I'm going to risk going that way or what? It's like a car park. It's not the doorway, like I thought it would be. It doesn't appear to be like it's got anybody in it, other than cars. There's no sign on the inside of the buildings that they're being used in any way. And I don't know what animal that is. I don't even recognize this, this animal. It's been chewed on. Is it a dog? Small dog. Or a cat. It's not too big for a cat. It's not it? a rabbit. It's definitely too big for a rabbit. Could, look at the little. It's got the little pointy tooth on the front. Fox. Too could, small. Could be a fox. Oh no! No, it oh. could be a fox. There's someone here to see us, and it looks not very happy. And he's just been saying he's not a big fan of geese. My, my uncle had about six geese in his garden. He used them as guard geese. Yeah. So a nasty bastard. They are nasty and they, they normally make loads they of noise. They're noisy. Yeah. So I don't know why that hasn't. Oh, hello. It's <laughs> like Beaker off the Muppets. Muppets. What is wrong with you today? That must be the tenth time you've fallen over. But I've got a way in, I think. Come here. Be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon for all the latest updates.
whether we can get through any of the doors in here. Oh, look. Brother sewing machine. Oh, do she is. Now, there's lots of little bits of stuff in there. It's cool. That locked. Looks like we're climbing through the door there. Never that easy, is it? Jesus. Oh. Got more books. Wow. They're like David, Lawan, Sarah, Mackay, Victoria, Brattle. I don't understand why. Do you reckon? That's the original people from the original school. And why does it say Dr. Dre Beats on the wall? Justine Penson. <laughs> what? Right, so we're in quite an odd room. This is like a big entranceway, isn't it, this? Oh my God. And that's, that's on. So that means someone's gonna be back here soon enough. So it is being used. So we are right at the front, main entrance. This is where we went up to the main doors. And like I said, once again, I do, it's a toilet, Andy. I do, um, I feel like the banter's not there today. And that's not for any other reason that we feel like we're gonna get caught. What? CCTV. Oh yeah. Right, so uh, we're probably just gonna have a head upstairs and have a look upstairs now. Look at this, look at this room. Look at the big table at the front. It's really, really good. Every room still smells like damp and mould. Huge place. Are you feeling on edge as much as I'm feeling on edge? Like somebody's gonna walk through a door any second and go, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, that gonna come back. Yeah. We're gonna be stuck in here. Exactly. Well, at least we have got a, an escape route if we need one. That's another like, teaching room. And this one. I don't know if these are. Are these prayer mats? Could be, yeah. I'm not sure if they are or not. I'm obviously not going to stand on them because I feel that would be disrespectful. But look all the uh, boundaries. Europe. Mediterranean Sea. But anyway, following Andy back the way this way. And this, oh, it seems like a kitchen area. Look at those cooking rings. They're massive. But even though it's dirty and it can't be, it surely can't be lived in. Although those bikes are definitely brand new bikes. Um, yeah. I'm feeling really on edge now. I'm, I've got my feelings that somebody's just going to just go yeah. back. Exactly. I don't fancy getting a sword to the neck or something like that. What are these? Is this a fridge? It was. Oh, it smells bad, that. It was a fridge. Boxing, boxing bag. And then we've got all the kitchen appliances. Now, don't get me wrong, these people are probably just normally, normal family people. Nothing wrong with them. Just regular caretakers or whatever. But because of the history of this place, I just feel like I'm going to get attacked by a bad person. And like I said, they're probably normal people. This is just pots and pans in here. Nothing exciting, really. But I am definitely feeling rather nervous. Now, we've just secured our way out of here. We've found a bolt hole and a way to get out. So if anybody does come, we, we know where to go. Yeah, that's the thing, because it is a little bit like a rabbit warren. I want to get into upstairs in the big old bit of the school anyway. So let's do that. 
get up these stairs. And we... Jesus Christ, it goes up and up. Out of bounds area, do not enter. We'll come back down to this. I want to get up as high as I can. Now we are getting pretty high up now, look. Oh, that's where we were earlier on down there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at the archers near. This area is amazing. Look at this. What is this used for? Beds. It's domes, isn't it? Like, oh. So you'd have a bed in there and then all your stuff, like your wardrobe, your cupboard -y things in there. But look at this. And there are the beds, yeah. Oh, wow. This place is fantastic. So it would have been, it's a boarding school then, isn't it? Yeah. But I suppose if these Islamic school, they will have all lived in here at all times anyway. It's the shower rooms. Please leave the place clean. Yeah. Very good job. Look at that pigeon. Crusty pigeon. Oh, that's a dove. They're white doves. So yeah, we've just come through to the second dorm. We have a full bed there, and all the beds have been laid up on the top there. So this is because it was, it was a sort of a British school. Look, more. Like doves rather than pigeons. Um, yeah, this was a British school before it was like an Islamic school. And I don't know whether this would have been used for that. But look at it, I just love those. Ar that arched roof is fantastic. That's like chimney. Jesus, more of them. Yeah, it's like chimney bits in it, like for the chimney, so maybe if there were a fire at the bottom and the heat came up, it, yeah. yeah, like central heating almost, I suppose, back in the day. Back in the day. Pigeons or doves, whoa, regardless, are stupid. Look at them, they're absolutely thick as pudding. Like how many times do you need to fly into a window before you realise it's made of glass? Jesus Christ. Are you stupid? Oh, all the flies up there. Oh my God. I don't know if it's more interesting here for terror. Whoa, is that one dead? Oh no, I thought it was dead. I don't know if it's more interesting for terrorists or, or stupid birds. Look at it. How many times? Right, I'm moving away from it before it really hurts itself. It kills itself. Crazy beast. Right, so, oh God. So we found another one that didn't quite make it. Look at the eye on that, that's freaky. That's bizarre. So we'll head down to uh, the art room. The art room's down here, apparently. Right. So this is the old art room. It's a bit bare. I expected there to be at least a picture of like a cat on the wall or something. What's this? Is that what time it is in different places, do we think? Not Mecca and London and... Yeah, it could be London, New York, Tokyo, Melbourne. Once again, back out outside where we came from originally. The ch that's the church over there where we came from. And the big old building. What a fantastic building it is. Right, so Andy's just heading back out again. I don't think we've got much longer in here before we need to leave. I feel very soon we're going to be discovered. So, that's 
not so. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's strange that it got that sort of lock on it. Although it's a... It's where we've been in... Oh, no, there's prayer mats in there. Proper prayer mats. So that's the prayer room and they've locked it off because out of respect so nobody goes in that's not which supposed to go in. Which is 100% fair enough. So, we'll just have a quick look this way. There's quite a few mattresses knocking about. I've noticed them. Yeah. We've got in here. Oh, wow, look, look at this. So we've got a big area for learning. It is absolutely boiling in here. We've got a selection of pencil sharpeners in different colours. The Quran and Modern Science. GCSE Physics, GCSE Chemistry. And some sports stuff. But yeah, look, this is like the hall. It's a funny place to have the hall upstairs. I wouldn't have expected it to be up here. Okay, and pool. Okay. Pool table in the corner there. Is there? Oh, so maybe this is more of like the um, games area and general learning. So you go back down to the swings down there into this area which looks a bit less looked after as beds piled up. What is that? Mecca. More beds. Beds everywhere. Oh my god. <clears throat> what is that? Pants. I thought that were a coffin. I thought this was a coffin at first, but it isn't. <coughs> is. Oh, it's me coughing. Oh my God. Right, I think we're gonna make our way back out now. We're both feeling very, 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 very uneasy. And although it's a fantastic place, there's not a massive amount of things in each room. Right, so we have done it so it will lock itself when we come back out. now locked. So, get back around the way we came and get out of here. Not lucky. Well, that was very lucky. I did not expect that in the slightest. We didn't think we were going to get in for a start, and if we did get in, we thought we were going to get caught. Perseverance pays off, wasn't it? Exactly. And we were told earlier on by Mr. Warren Tepper <laughs> not, not to come, because he said, oh, I came and there were some people outside and they told me to go away. So I went away. I know, chickens. Don't kick chickens. You can't kick a chicken. Don't you dare kick that chicken. Ganging up in that, man. Yeah, ganging up on me. There's two of them. <laughs> yeah, have you noticed? We, we... <laughs> what is he doing? You're a pigeon, not a chicken. They don't know the difference. Just... They do, because otherwise they'd start fucking pigeons. I'm genetically modified Gen pigeon. Genetically modified pigeon? What, you, you've got a bit of breast as well? Yeah. Why does faces look like bright white? It's so sunny today, isn't it? Uh, white, 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 white. You're being racist. Stop being... Why, look! How white are we? <laughs> Makes a change for my face being absolutely bright. I white. know. What a beautiful day it is, though. And now, I've, have you noticed the mood's changed? We've gone from yeah. being, Shit's oh good. shit, oh fuck, to back to being no more. Now I can video this outside without worrying. So we were actually, we were up in this window here at the end and we walked up along the top of there. Those are the big dorm rooms at the top up there. Look. Um, look. Oh, oh, he started them off. He's going to go on the swings and he's started off the geese. They're like, get off my fecking swing. It's just a big child. Oh, they're all coming to attack you now, aren't they? What a wonderful place to have a swing. I'm coming to, I'm going to be part of the swingers club. Oh shit, they are coming as well. I'm having a quick go before they get me. Look at this. Could he get a better place to swing? Really? 
<laughs> they are as well. <laughs> oh shit. And he's liking it. <laughs> because look, ghost police are here. Well, it's quite fun this. Could sit here all day and do this. Feel so much more relaxed now we've been in and done it. Even though we still could be terrorised by the terrorists, if they are still terrorists, which they're probably not. But <laughs> he's getting chased. They're not, they're not bothered about me. They're all about the Andy. They think, because the length of the necks, they think they're related. They're going to mate with him. They're going to get him down on the floor in a minute and they're going to fuck him right in the bum. Oh, they, they forced, they lulling you into a false sense of security because the rapist goose is behind you, Andy. He's coming. Yeah. There. That's the rapist goose. He's waiting for you. He does look evil, that one as well. Lead him to a false sense of security, innit? That's exactly what they're doing. They force. Oh, oh look, he's coming now. I've pissed him off. He's putting his head down. Shit. Oh fuck. Let's get out of here. Death the cook! Slay though. Snare and hard kick. This is it! The coke came in the crack. They all sound the same to me. There's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. Take me out. Rap. Yeah, 50% that. <laughs> wow, what a place though. Absolutely amazing place. Glad we got in there. Didn't expect that at all. No. Me either. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Right guys, so we didn't expect to get in there at all. That went a lot better than we expected it. So I'm pretty oh, oh, it took us a while to look around about three times. It did, it did. And we were on edge the whole way around. And like I was saying inside. Whenever we feel nervous, the banter seems to disappear, doesn't it? Yeah, nervous, so, nervous, don't we? Really yeah. Nervous. But we're glad that we got in. We had the opportunity to go in there and to think that people like Abu Hamza and, and other sort of terrorist types... <laughs> yeah. yeah, just think that he was in there using his chopsticks. Right, eating his Chinese. <laughs> You have to be Chinese to use chopsticks. Eat the fingers anyway. Well, don't eat the fingers. No, he doesn't though. Oh, he doesn't. He uses. That's what I'm saying. He unscrews. He unscrews his hooks. Puts and he a puts a fork on it. Oh yeah. I suppose a fork. <laughs> nice and fork. Yeah. I was thinking more chopsticks, but yeah, that that make more sense. <coughs> Will you stop coughing? Can't help it. I've died of lung cancer. Yeah, it's all this stuff that you inhale every time we go in anywhere. It's all this doses. Yeah. Bird shit. <laughs> bird shit mainly. So anyway, we're off to Brighton now. We're gonna go and have some lunch and with our, with our <laughs> <laughs> And then we um flake out and have a yeah, hour on our beach. I think we might do. I do like Brighton. Not in a gay way, but I do like Brighton a lot. So we will see you later. Bye bye.